Francis says Mary is not co-redemptrix or co-redeemer. What do the saints say? According to CNS news source, Francis spoke of Mary, the mother of God, on March 2021, one day before the Feast of the Annunciation of the Virgin Mary and the Incarnation of God as man. He said how she has been present during the COVID-19 pandemic and stood by all those who died alone. During the audience, Francis made a series of speeches on prayer and ratified his position against the title that the Virgin Mary deserves as co-redemptrix of the world. He reiterated that Mary is not a co-redemptrix. He said that for decades, some Catholics have asked popes to recognize Mary as co-redemptrix to highlight the essential role she played in their redemption. He said Christ is the only Redeemer, and there is no other name by which we can be saved, which is correct, but is the bullet Protestants use against Catholics to crush Mary. Francis also said that Jesus entrusted Mary to humanity as a mother, not as a goddess, not as a co-redemptrix, adding that love motivated some people to call her co-redemptrix. But love often leads people to exaggerate. Comments Francis does not love the Blessed Virgin Mary as all popes and saints have loved her. In spite of the requests made by the Blessed Virgin Mary in her apparitions to declare a dogma as co-redemptrix, Francis, with simplicity, calls her Mary and makes a long antidogmatic speech to discredit the co-redemptrix of the world, just as the Protestants do. But she is the woman who crushes the head of Satan and all his allies, and is Our Lady and Sorrowful Mother, co-redemptrix of all humanity, Mother of God, Mother of the Church, our Mother, Mother of all those who aspire to live eternally. As Catholics, we cannot throw away the tradition of the Church to satisfy Protestants and other religions. That is why it is good to know the opinion of some saints and venerables of our Catholic Church who have been sanctified thanks to the Blessed Virgin Mary, who makes us children of God in her maternal womb. We begin by recalling that the prophet Simeon prophesied her as co-redemptrix when he said that a sword would pierce her soul, Luke 2, verse 35. In other words, the Virgin Mary participated in the sufferings of her son that brought about our salvation. St. Gemma Galgani, stigmatized, speaks very clearly of the co-redemptive sufferings of the Virgin Mary, Mother on Calvary. St. Pius X invokes our Immaculate Mother as reparatrix of the world and therefore dispenser of all the treasures that Jesus merited for us by his bloody death. He also quotes St. Bonaventure in speaking of the death of the mother's redemptive participation on Calvary, affirming that Mary participated in such a way in the suffering of the Son that if it were possible, she would have been very happy to suffer herself all the torments that Christ endured. St. Francis Xavier Cabrini, the first American saint to be canonized repeatedly praises the co-redemptrix in his teachings and saints. He calls the Blessed Virgin the New Eve, true mother of the living, who was chosen by God to become co-redemptrix of the human race. 
Saint Maximilian Mary Colby is the theologian of the Immaculate Conception and is therefore also a theologian of the COVID and tricks. Saint Maximilian goes on to encourage a fuller understanding of Mary COVID and tricks. For our contemporary times, saying, it is evident that our relationship with Mary COVID and tricks and dispenser of graces in the economy of redemption was not understood from the beginning in all its perfection. But in these times, faith in the mediation of the Blessed Virgin Mary continues to grow more and more each day. San Leopold Mandic, a Croatian Capuchin priest who lived in Padua, was a confessor and spiritual director of international fame for almost 40 years. Saint Leopold offered his life to the Corridentrix for the reunification of the Eastern Churches with the Church of Rome. So extraordinarily dedicated was the saint to Mary Corridentrix that he had a lifelong desire to write a book in the defense of the Blessed Mother as co-redentrix of the human race and channel of every grace that comes from Jesus Christ. Saint John Paul II, who was fully Marian, he was the Pope of the co-redentrix without violating the true meaning or imperative of Christian ecumenism. Saint Teresa Benedicta spent numerous hours of prayer before the image of the sorrowful mother and described the mother corridentrix as our entrance into the redemptive order. Saint Joseph Mary Scriba vigorously defends the Virgin Mary as corridentrix and acclaims the papal use of the title of corridentrix and his doctrine saying, the Supreme Pontiffs have rightly called Mary Corridentrix. At that moment, together with her suffering and dying son, she suffered and came close to death. At that moment, she abdicated her maternal rights over her son for the salvation of humanity and immolated him to the best of her ability to placate the justice of God, thus it can rightly be said that she redeemed the human race together with Christ. In this way, we can better understand that moment of the Lord's Passion that we must never tire of meditating on. Now she stood by the cross of Jesus, his mother. John 19, verse 25. Patrick Pio's consecration and oblation to the Virgin Corridentrix knew no bounds, and he explains it tenderly. In a testimony written to the Corridentrix in one of his letters, he says, Now it seems to me that I am penetrating into what was the martyrdom of our most beloved mother. Oh, if all men would penetrate into this martyrdom, who would succeed in suffering with her? Yes, our dear Corridentrix. Who would deny her the good title of Queen of Martyrs? And now, what some blessed of the Church say, joining their voices to the saints who praise Mary, Corridentrix. Bartolo Longo made a heartfelt invocation to the Corridentrix which should also become our prayer, our prayer request for our times. O Holy Virgin, fulfill today your office of being our co-redemptrix. Venerable Mother, Sister Maria of Jesus of Agrida, wrote in the mystical city of God a wonderful set of books that reveal the life of the Virgin Mary. The miracle of her omnipotence in the abyss of her grace, the divine history and life of the Virgin Mother of God, our Queen and Our Lady, Mary Most Holy, Atoner of Eve's guilt, 
a mediatrix of grace. In a message, Sister Maria de Agreda wrote, Mary obeyed the father as an obedient daughter. She cared for her son only as a loving mother could. She was the humble and willing spouse of the most Holy Spirit. Now and always a bright heavenly light forms a crown upon Mary's head. The crown is the reward given to Mary as mediatrix, co-redemptrix, and advocate. The religious founder and protege of St. John Bosco, Blessed Luigi Arrioni, uses the title co-redemptrix. Mary is co-redemptrix of humanity. She is our most tender mother because she even wept, especially for this reason. The great Marian Cardinal of Milan, Blessed Idolphon's Cardinal Schuster, promulgates an authoritative Mariology of Mary Corridentrix with generous uses of the title Corridentrix throughout his prolific theological writings, homilies, and catechetical works. Blessed James Alderuni says, as a result of that union of pains, wills, and intentions between Mary and Jesus Christ, Mary became our reparatrix and co-redemptrix and dispenser of the truths of the cross. The Redeemer is Jesus alone. Jesus is the principal mediator by office. Mary is the secondary Redeemer and associated to this great work by divine will. Venerable Gabriel Maria Allegra staunchly defended the dogmatic definition of Mary as corridentrix and mediatrix of all graces, particularly on its biblical foundations. I firmly believe that with all my strength I will preach to the rest of the faithful that the title of corridentrix is theologically accurate to explain the part Mary had in the work of our salvation. And we end with St. Mother Teresa of Calcutta, who verifies for us the title of our Corridentrix Mother in a letter given on August 14, 1993, on the feast of St. Maximilian Kolbe. Mary is our Corridentrix with Jesus. She gave Jesus her body and suffered with him at the foot of the cross. Mary is the mediatrix of all grace. She gave us Jesus, and as our mother, obtains for us all his graces. Mary is our advocate who prays to Jesus for us. Only through Mary's heart do we come to the Eucharistic heart of Jesus. The papal definition of Mary as corridentrix, mediatrix, and advocate will bring great graces to the Church. All for Jesus through Mary. May God bless you, Mother Teresa of Calcutta. And of course, there are many more examples of saints who have described the Blessed Virgin Mary as corridentrix. The devil is happy that the Virgin Mary is being publicly scorned as co-redentrix of the world. Francis denies Mary, as he calls her, or simply the mother of Jesus, the dogma that the children of God, true Catholics, expect. The saints already gave her to her. God calls her co-redentrix. Do you think Francis is right? Do you think that this teaching denying Mary as corridentrix has divine complacency? Please, let us know. I invite you to watch a video on our apostolate entitled Sorrowful Mother Corridentrix of the World. Mary, Mediatrix of Grace, Advocate, our Heavenly Queen. If you like this video, please give us a like. Subscribe to our channel, The Work of God. Share it on social networks and don't forget 
to leave your valuable comments. God bless you.